What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to take a look at Cyber Shoes on the quest. <laughs> Hell yeah. So guys and gals, as I said in the intro to this video, we are here to take a look at the Cyber Shoes for the quest and quest two. It's a heck of a pairing, let's begin by saying that. But anyway, if you're unfamiliar what the Cyber Shoes are, they are shoes <laughs> that are cyber no they are cyber shoes that um go on your feet and enable you to walk in vr so with the aid of this and a stool that you sit on boom you're away so full disclosure guys just so that you know cyber shoes did send me over this product for free it doesn't mean that i have to say anything in particular it just meant that they were nice enough to send the channel for here Ooh for me to review and let you guys know my honest opinions and what I think. This isn't pay promotion, it's just very kind of them to send me over them and I get a chance to take a look at them and give you my opinion. Um, the other thing is they are doing a Kickstarter right now. I think they've already well exceeded their goal, but if you're interested and you wanna check out some of their deals and get this for yourself, then uh, I urge you to go down in the description. You can click the link, follow it over to their Kickstarter. I'll also link their website as well. Um, and you can go both over there and um, you know maybe acquire some for yourself or help them with the Kickstarter, whatever takes your fancy. But support something like this and it grows bigger. If you don't, then I guess it won't so so one of the reasons that i quite like this product is the fact that if you don't have a huge play space like myself then um, it enables you to stop walking into things and stop running at walls and being a fool and enables you just to sort of sit down take it easy get a bit of a leg workout that's for sure so maybe not so much taking it easy but definitely a leg workout and um, enables you to play a game and just enjoy it for what it is without the worry of running into a wall and if you're playing multiplayer then it's even better because you can have two of you set up in a room and you will not get destroyed or punch each other in the face. Both of those things wouldn't be a great one. So when you get the box of goodies turn up at your door, and believe me it's a big old box and it is a box of goodies, um, it's exciting of course, but what do you get inside the box you might ask yourself? Inside the box you get yourself a static free carpet circle, um, with that you also get a stool and the stool is bloody comfortable I will say so I'm quite impressed by that you know considering the price point of this product the stool is bloody comfortable as well also in there you'll get your receiver for the quest a pair of cyber shoes of course uh, they also send you over a bunch of other stuff so that you can lose your wires as well stick them to the ceiling stick and um, you know that's very kind of them to include that into the package um, so that pretty much covers everything you're going to get in there obviously all the cables and stuff that you're going to need um, but yeah pretty much covers everything that you get in the box so setup couldn't be easier guys literally attach this to the front of the quest it comes with adhesive pads uh, also like a velcro adhesion so you can take this off if you want to not too bad on the front of here you have a slider which dictates how fast of a movement you're going to take so if you're in a slower part of the game you can slow it right down take your nice calm steps you know, if you're gonna run and you wanna get the heck away from whatever's coming at you, jazz that bad boy up and you go really fast. You have a pair button on the front as well as two light indicators. On the shoes, you have a charging port as well as an LED indicator and a button to turn them on and off. On the top, you have like a really nice rubbery surface. They're thumb shoes that grips your shoes. And then you have a buckling system, very similar to what you would get with, I don't know, snowboarding. Pairing this device couldn't be easier. It's as simple as plugging your cable in, USB-C, USB-C. When you plug it in, you'll get two red lights that will come up and then it will go off. Um, once you've then done that, you can turn your power on on your cyber shoe. You will get a light come up. It will then switch over to its pairing light and then the other light will come on here to indicate that it is paired. Once you've done that, grab your other shoe, repeat the process, it'll find itself, and once it has, it will then light up on the Quest with two indicated lights to show you that you are now connected to your shoes. Once you've got to this point and you have paired your shoes, you then hold down the button on the front for three seconds. They will go to a fixed white light and that will indicate it is in pairing mode. Then you just need to go into your settings, experimental features, Bluetooth, and pair the device via that. It will come up as cyber shoes. I would show you, but Oculus doesn't let you look into those settings for some reasons on video. Um, but yeah, literally click on cyber shoes and pair the device, activate it, and then go into your games and it's as simple as that. So without further ado, I think we should jump into some gameplay now, test these bad boys out, and then we'll have a little chat at the end, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna check out the cyber shoes, these little bad boys. <laughs> That's so friggin' weird. Um, in Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, I'm pretty hyped for this because 
you know, the idea of walking around in this for real is kind of is kind of fun. It's weird to do this without a thumbstick. You know, just uh, getting used to movement is definitely a new feeling for me. And it's definitely going to... It's got like a little bit of a learning curve. Oh, hey. Because um, you can still use your directional thing. And I think I still go into a little bit here. So just so I stay sort of somewhere near camera. But yeah, you can you can turn any direction with this, guys. And sort of move in it. Um, and to be honest with you, it's pretty... Well, I mean, it's flipping amazing, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Hello, buddy. Yeah, I've got my voice turned on. So when I talk, you come and hunt me, don't you? Yeah, you're dead now. Little cheekster. Um, so I kind of using like a hybrid of movement if, if you will like where I'm kind of turning with this and this But again, I'm only really doing that because I'm trying to stay on camera for you guys because you know It'll make life a little easier Hello, mate. <coughs> But walking in this it feel, it's starting to feel pretty natural like this is Legitimately the first time I've given this a go and it does take a little bit of getting used to because It's kind of well. It's like learning to walk all over again <laughs> <laughs> and it's a workout, that's for sure. Hi, I'm just hunting for some zombies. Any zombies around? Hello? My aim to stay on camera, I think, is not going to plan. But I don't really care. You want summer's worth, Sam? Yeah, you do. I've got my cyber shoes on. Your mug. You can't do me, because I can run away like this. Hello? Anybody here? It's just kind of getting used to the idea of running like this. Hi, mate. Hello? Are you a zombie? Oh. Anything, please. Uh, I can give you some zombies. Hang on. You want it? You want it? You got it, darling. See, I'm a good guy. A zombie, do you help? I know. No, no more. Yeah. Did you lie to me? What did you have? Oh, hey, yo. Yeah. I've got cyber shoes on. You can't touch me. It's just simple. This is the future, guys. Okay, I've completely given up now on the idea of um, using my thumbstick because quite frankly, it is more fun just to spin around in a circle. It's such a different experience, this. It's kind of fascinating to sort of, I don't know, experience VR in a completely different way to what I ever have before. And I think... Hey, 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 be gone with yourself. Can I walk backwards on these? Oh, I can. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And, you know, speed options, clearly, they are the speed you're moving. So if I'm really chipping, then I can chip a bit faster. <laughs> but I think, for me, this works really well because I'm not tethered. Being on the Oculus Quest is like the perfect pairing for a device like this. Because it's nice and simple. You've got it mounted on your head. Just easy. Hello, little lock. Let me jaunt over to you and go back a bit. Nice. So yeah, testing is proving flipping awesome, to be honest. Charge! Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah. 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 Die. Yeah. Off with your head. Off with your head. You want to go some too? Huh? Oh my god, you're like, literally insane, bro. Nice. Well, there you go. We're all done here. Let's jump back to the video. So there you have it, guys. That is the gameplay of me in Saints and Sinners, which is really fun to be playing with the Cyber Shoes. The together, they, they pair really nicely. Um, I can see why this is so appealing to people, because honestly, paired with the Quest 2, where you're wireless, you've got no wires. Obviously, like I had to friggin' deal with a lav cable spinning around. <laughs> a bit of a pain in the bottom. But, um, but, you know, in a regular day scenario, being there completely wireless and sat on that chair, just spinning around at your own will, enjoying yourself, 
I can't see any negatives so far in my usage of using these. There is a mild learning curve at a very beginning where you're sort of learning how to walk. The best motion that I found is heel to toe. You know, you've really got to get that full connection from heel to toe and you actually get used to that pretty quick. At first I was trying to take these like little baby steps and it just wasn't paying off because I wasn't moving correctly in the game. Um, but once you get that whole idea of the full heel to toe movement, it, you know, it starts to come naturally. And by the end of the play session that I was in for this video, um, after about, I guess I was in there for about 40 minutes, by the end of it, I was completely moving fluently. I didn't find any problems. I'd actually started to stop using the physical turn that I had used at the beginning um, and just start moving around and, and enjoying it really freeing you know it, it was really freeing i liked it a lot um so yeah i don't have anything negative to say about it um if you guys do have any questions that you would like to ask me for the follow-up video or that i can answer for you straight away please do leave them in the comments down below any questions no none are too silly none are too complex just ask me the questions and i will do my darndest to give you an answer if you have enjoyed this video please do consider smashing that like button because it really does help the channel out and of course subscribe because it would mean the world to me and i would like you to join the kingdom um, if you're unfamiliar the kingdom is where you're at right now join it and you can have wonderful videos every day of the week yeah yeah it's great anyway guys and girls thank you so much for joining me in this video i will see you in the next one bye bye